crowd has found their seats and we're ready to go. It's time to get set. Fairfield into the front court. Maurice Barrow into the game for the first time. Three point try on its way and it's good. It's Jenkins in a hurry across the timeline. Now Rose, cross court pass, wide open Stag will try for three. It's good. Fires from deep, rebound for a pool, long outlet pass ahead to Himes. Himes, big two steps in the lane, bucket and one. Counted Evan Himes. Great feed from Rob Poole. Long from the free throw line. He was given space and exposed it. Long shoots through the gap and scores. After the three point arc, picks up his dribble. Poole, nearly a catch and shoot, passed on it. Probably their wise decision. Bisping runs the baseline, takes the lob from right and scores. The Saints tied at 40. To the right wing in Barrow. Guarded tightly by Long, creates a little separation and nails it. They might not say it was a shot. Bisping does have eight rebounds. Rob Poole to give Seattle the lead for three. And will it go? Yes, it does. Andy, I don't think I've ever seen a ball take that much time to decide whether or not it wants to go in or not, but it does. Poole gets the three. Sienna has its first lead of the game, 67-66, with exactly five minutes to play. Barra working against Long, insisting on going up against the freshman, scores. Fairfield back in front, Sidney Johnson calls a timeout. Can Sienna come up with another stop? Barra against Long, 18 to shoot. Bisping on Barrow. Long there to help. Barrow gets to the glass and scores. Good defensive effort by Long. Forced Barrow to give it up. And now Rose matched up with Bisping. Ooh, Himes could have come up with a seal. He does. Himes, quick hands. It's now Long in transition. Long, no look pass to Himes. Bucket and one. Rob Poole will go to the free throw line. A chance to tie the score with a minute 12 to play. Six seconds, and now here we go, it's Himes. Himes wants it, finds a cutting, Bisping gets to the glass and scores! Seattle leads 77 to 75, 8.5 seconds. Fearfield has a timeout if they want it, and they will take it with 5.5 seconds left. Oh my, here we go, four seconds to go. Three, it's Rose to the rack, and there is an offensive foul. A charging foul on K.J. Rose. He thought he was going to the free throw line with a chance to force overtime. Instead, it's an offensive foul. 1.3 seconds left. And Bisping has the ball. 1.3 seconds burn off. Bisping has it in his hands as the Saints celebrate. They come back from 16 down to knock off Fairfield 77-75.